So you might have seen a previ previous video where in which I will be not posting videos for three weeks. I quit YouTube. No, just kidding. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm actually going to go three days of absence to go ju just to go hiking the Grand Canyon. And we are be we're gonna be hiking with just roughing it over there. I've never hiked the Grand Canyon before. I've always wanted to see it. I've seen a lot of pictures and finally, I can finally, finally, finally get the experience of this. So I'm really stoked. I'm with the whole crew. We're gonna go to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. We're actually gonna go hike. So we're gonna be hiking to the bottom of the Grand Canyon for three days, all the way to these falls. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm really stoked. And there's one of the major places that people should see, but never had a chance to. So today is finally the time. We're gonna hike to the bottom of the Grand Canyon with Sabrina today for three days. I don't know how you're gonna handle us. We might be get like we might just be too annoying or like too wild. Oh, I wild. got this. I got okay, this. No cool. worries. You're gonna have to put up with the entire exploring crew. Been one hour of um, walking right now. We actually ended up up there. We made our way all the way down here within one hour. This is our little our little shelter of shade right here. We kind of hide behind this rock, underneath this rock, so we could get away from the sun for a bit. Steve's getting some medical treatment right now by Sabrina. Yo, Josh, climb on up here. Wanna go up here? The only one issue about this current hike is that we started two hours late. So as we're going down, people are like that. People are actually coming back up saying that, wow, you guys are starting very, very late. So it's like they already made their way to the finish and came back. It's kind of crazy. So I don't know. Um, it's going to be a crazy hike as we're kind of blazing through, as we're kind of just making our way down this blazing sun right now. As we're continuing the hike, we're finding all these random mining things that are left here from previous history. I mean, I guess there's a barrel located up here. Let's go take a look at this. After this hike. Yeah, check this out. Even this barrel we thing they the could treasure use. Is. Yeah. So there's uranium, copper, silver, lake located all around here. It's pretty crazy. I love all this, this previous history things just sit around. All right, so this is the toothpick prickly pear. The pads are edible, uh, called nopales by the Hispanic, and the fruit, which this one's not ripened yet, they turn red, are called tunas. And you knock them off, you get the thorns off of them. On a cactus, they're called glockids. Hmm. And then you eat them, and they are amazing. Wandering through, guys, and this is what we come across. Sandals. The curiosity is, many people really can't handle that hike like this. It's pretty intense hiking through this hot heat. Who knows the history behind what happened to these sandals? Who knows? Yeah. So they, were, they weren't joking when they said their company was just roughing it because this is really just roughing in it. Are you hanging in there? Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty I'm good. Bad. Yeah. You? So work on the legs, guys. It's a big work on the legs, but we're still hanging out, hanging. We're making our way. It's a mission, all right, though. I spent so many hours, hours and hours of walking, and finally, I see civilization. It's coming. It's almost here. Let's step to it. We're finally approaching water. It's been a while since I've seen actual water during this hike. We're finally making this something. I guess there's a village up ahead. I don't know if we can film there or not, but I'm gonna try to see what I can do. Oh my God, I love how clear it is. I've never seen water like this before. What's it called, Havasukai? Amazing. We're getting a lot closer than anticipated. I've never seen a wild horse like that before. Nice. Hey! Horse! Man, they don't even like us. Yeah, they're just ignoring us eating, surviving. 
I think it's really cool how these horses are not even like they don't have owners or anything. They're just living the wild life. That's how the, that's how things should be. Wow, just look at this house made of clay and everything, man. It's pretty crazy how they put it together. Hey, I think it's, it has electricity here. That electricity? Yeah. Damn, I wonder what happened. I wonder what's the history of why this is For real. demolished like this. The thing about this is that we're getting closer to the village. I mean, this is like a sign of it, how close we are. The things we can't film at the village, I guess. I mean, they, it's their own their own place, so they, they won't, they don't like cameras, so. Well guys, we're making a really close approach to the village. You can tell that they're not very familiar with what we have and our technology concerning that they've seen Cody they seen Cody and they saw Cody was an FBI because he had his, his tripod gun. I was sitting here like polishing my tripod. He's like, you FBI? I'm like, what's who's asking? <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. Might not be a good idea to film, so we're going to go and nap it for the very second time being. I am so drained. We've been up since 5 in the morning. We finally, finally, finally made it to the falls and now we're kind of just gonna camp put together a tent and kind of just sleep now since such a long draining day I mean it was cool seeing the village I hope you guys enjoyed the, the clips I was able to kind of get with my phone I mean I w couldn't really go around recording with my regular camera but I was able to capture with that anyway we're gonna go pack up our tent now uh, first time doing that and this is a kind of like the first time backpacking experience it was it's been really cool though I'm just so drained but I am ready to I'm ready for tomorrow so let's see how it all goes